this is the uh, final video in our sequence about uh, the pre-release material from 2015 that we are studying for your mock exam. Now, uh, this, is, uh, this final video is about task three. All right, so what we're now looking at is task three. Now, in task three, uh, the examiner asked us to calculate the highest uh, midday temperature Okay, uh, the lowest midday temperature and then the, the, and do exactly the same thing for midnight. So uh, he also wanted the highest uh, midnight temperature and the lowest midnight temperature. Okay, so in task three, that is what I'm trying to calculate. I'm trying to calculate uh, the highest midday and midnight temperature and the lowest midday and midnight temperature. Okay, so uh, the first thing I've started with, as, as we've done before, uh, is I've started with my variable declaration. So here are my variables. Now, what I've tried to do, as you can see, is I've tried to name them uh, something that's relevant so that when I read the code or when you read the code or when the examiner reads the code, or when someone else reads the code, it's apparent what they are used for. Okay, so hopefully it's apparent to you that this variable here is going to be used uh, to store the highest midday temperature. Okay, uh, this one is going to be uh, used to store the the day. Okay, so the other thing the examiner wants to know is not just the highest temperature, uh, but also what day that temperature was on. So I'm going to use that variable to store that. Uh, this variable obviously is going to store the lowest midday temperature. And this one's going to store the day that that occurred on. Okay, and then um, all I've done down the bottom here is I've replicated that uh, for uh, midnight. Okay, now what's important here, there's something very, very important here, which is uh, my initialization value uh, for the lowest midday temperature. Okay, so uh, if you have a look, normally I initialize my variables to a zero, uh, but in fact this one's been initialized uh, to uh, 999. Okay, so why have I initialized it to 999? Uh, well, the idea is that um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a loop and I'm going to check the values in the array and I'm going to be comparing them uh, to this lowest midday temperature to see if I can find another one that is lower than that lowest midday temperature. Now, if you think about this, if that was set to zero, all right, I would never find um, a midday temperature less than zero. So zero would always be my lowest midday temperature. So to prevent that from happening, what I need to do with the lowest midday temperature is I need to initialize that uh, to uh, a high number, all right? So a, a number that I know uh, is not going to be in the array. And I've done that uh, the same here with the lowest midnight temperature, okay? So that's really important to understand why I initialize that uh, to a very high number. So you might want to go back through that, okay? Uh, now, how do I find out the highest midday temperature and the lowest midday temperature, and the same for the uh, midnight temperature, um, is I use a loop. Okay, now again, what kind of loop have I used? All right, well, again, I know how many times I want to loop. I know that there are 30 elements, so I want to loop 30 times. So, of course, I have used a for loop. Okay, and as I've done before, uh, I've got an integer here that I initialized to zero called it i, uh, it's going to go up until it gets to 30, when it gets to 30 it's going to stop, and what am I going to do to i, I'm going to go i equals i plus 1, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and, uh, and all the way through, so I'm going to go from 0 to 29, okay, so I've got a for loop, now inside that for loop I've got an if statement, so I've got some selection, so this is an example of some selection. Now, if you remember how an if statement works, uh, I just write if here, and then here next door to that is the condition. So this is the important part. This is the condition. And here, what I've said is, uh, the condition I've said is, is the midday temperature, okay, is that midday temperature that I'm getting from the array, is it greater than uh, the highest midday temperature that I've got stored currently, okay? So... Um, I'm saying, is that midday temperature, is it higher than the highest midday temperature that I've got currently got stored? If that's true, what do I want to do? Well, what I want to do is uh, I want to set uh, the new highest midday temperature to be that one from the array. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm storing that midday temperature 
into highest midday temperature. And also here, look, I'm initializing, or sorry, I am um, assigning the value i to highest midday temperature day. So what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm remembering uh, what day that highest temperature was set on. Okay, and, and I've got an else if here, and all I'm doing here uh, is uh, in the else if is I'm then, if I'm saying if it's not higher than highest midday total temp, then the other thing I want to check is, well, is that element that I got from the array, is it less than the lowest midday temp? Because if it's less than the lowest midday temp, then what I want to do is I want that to become the new lowest midday temp. All right, and again here, I'm recording the day that that was set on. Okay, so um, I've got that twice, uh, but I've only got it twice because all I'm doing here is this is for uh, this one here is for the midday temperatures, uh, and this one here is for the midnight temperatures. Okay, so uh, but the the way it works is exactly the same. All right, um, so that's basically task three. Uh, all I do at the bottom here then is the final thing the examiner asked me to do was just to output the result. Okay, so here you can see I'm outputting the highest midday temperature uh, was, and I output the highest midday temperature, and I tell that um, I also output what day that was on. Okay, and I do that, I do the same thing for the lowest midday temperature. And again, I say what temperature that was, and what day that was on. Okay, so uh, that basically is my solution uh, to the 2015 pre-release material. Hopefully these three videos have helped you and hopefully you understand what, uh, that helps you understand uh, the kind of questions that you might get in your mock exam. Alright, thank you for watching. Goodbye.